All right, so what do you have going on in your life you want to share with Burt Show? You got some drama? Go ahead, hit us up at thebirdshow.com. In this email here that Abby's going to read, her ex-boyfriend texts her, but she didn't go off on the guy. So because of this, her current boyfriend was really upset, and now there's all sorts of tension because he doesn't feel she handled it, like, with enough, like, aggret, like, totally blowing the guy off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotcha. So it says, hi, Burt Show. I'm a huge fan from Canada and love you guys. We love you too. I need some advice to know if I'm in the wrong or what I did was justified. I have a son with my ex and we broke up almost four years ago. Things were super toxic at the end of our relationship and for quite a while after. He's pretty arrogant and has some anger issues. Anyways, I was just recently dating this guy for about eight months. Things have been a bit rocky for the last two, but what really made it bad was I got a text from my ex from from a couple weeks ago asking me if I was still with my boyfriend and if not, if I wanted to sleep with him. Of course, my boyfriend was lying beside me when I opened the text, so he saw it. My boyfriend got really upset, which is understandable, and he basically wanted me to ream my ex out hardcore over it. I told my boyfriend I would not ream him out due to how mentally abusive and wild he can become. Mm -hmm. So instead, I treaded lightly and expressed that it was an inappropriate text and that I have a boyfriend, to which he responded the next day that he was sorry and he was just drunk. Well, ever since then, my boyfriend has been really upset and keeps saying he wants to message my ex and get mad about it. I keep saying, no, don't. It's just going to cause issues and drama. Fast forward to this week, I ended up having surgery and instead of being supportive and there for me, my boyfriend fought with me the whole time I was in pain and recovering over the fact that my ex texted me and I was quote unquote protecting protecting my ex and not our relationship by not freaking out at him. He's so obsessed and upset with him that we've now broken up. Quite honestly, I'm pretty hurt he did what he did while I was just fresh out of surgery. I almost don't care we broke up, but I'm just wondering, am I in the wrong for trying to save my mental health and my co-parenting with this guy, or should I have saved my relationship? Thanks so much. So when my now fiance and I first started going out, I'm not exactly sure the timeline on it, but it was long enough to where we were serious. So let's just say seven, eight months, right? We were at a party. And um, Tiffany, my fiance, was like eating a hot dog or something. She spilt a whole bunch of mustard on her leg. It was kind of a funny thing. So she, on her Instagram story, posted like her leg having all this mustard. There was nothing sexual about it at all. It was just my fiance being, at the time, girlfriend, being clumsy. And one of the first DMs that came in uh, was from an ex-boyfriend of hers that just said something to the effect of, I like mustard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Right. Where you at so I can catch up? Thank you. Thank you. Catch up. Yeah, here it is. I'm going to relish this up. moment Must for just a second. It is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. A party. Wow. That was cheesy. <laughs> we should just end the show right now. Yes, it it doesn't get any better That's than it. this. Um, but we had the same kind of tension. Like, I'm like, you know, I, I don't think she responded to it at all. There was no, like, hey, I have a boyfriend now or anything. And when we circled back on it, I wasn't nearly as mad as this guy. But it was bothering me. It was bugging me that she didn't shut it down. That it just stayed there sort of open-ended. And I think to a guy that's thirsty like that, if you don't shut it down... It goes from being um, mustard to something much more graphic later. So I was a little upset about it, to be honest with you. We talked about it, and she said, look, I could tell you right now if I respond back to it, it's just going to be his window, uh, and he's going to have a green light. He's going to think he has a green light to continue to hit me back. Even if I try to put up a boundary, it's not going to work. And she knows this dude better than I did, and we had were first – going out, so I was really trying to be on my very best behavior, and said I understood, and I did. She knows him better than I do, and let it go. But I was in the same situation. I was a little upset about it. Like, sometimes I do think you got to, like, take the newspaper to the puppy. (laughs) (laughs) And hit him on the nose with it, you know? Uh, This took me uh, some years to learn, because younger me would have felt the exact same way, and I I probably would have wanted to respond myself if I didn't feel like her response was um, clear enough that 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 is no chance. 
But older me has really realized that this is one of the times I actually think toxic masculinity applies. This You replying is not going to do anything. It's, mm-hmm. If anything, it's going to give him some type of satisfaction in knowing that he got to you. Yes. So I have learned in situations like these, it's better to just either do nothing or to just lightly let him know, like, nobody's even worried about you, bro. You have been in this spot, too? Yeah, I, me, my friends, everybody. I actually, I was just on a phone call with one of my close friends who was literally in this exact same situation. Her ex Snapchatted her, and she just ignored it. And the, the guy that she's dating looked over and was like, well, who's that? What's going on? And he got super jealous. Mm. So I'm on the same page as Tiffany, where it's like, if you respond, mm-hmm. they think that's an invitation. They don't think that that's basically the best thing you can do to shut them down. What I have an issue with here in this letter is that the boyfriend is asking her to exhibit the same kind of behavior that he would mm. do to somebody else. Like, you should get angry. You should overreact, essentially. <laughs> and so I think that just proves the fact that this guy is super, super toxic. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. Let it let go. It you go. did the right thing. And then, you know, the, the icing on the cake really was him not being there for you when you really needed him the most. I mean, we have forgotten to talk about that. But that's major. That's a big red flag. Case in point. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of The Burt Show on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcast.